Hello and welcome to the MixOps demonstration series where you can see live demonstrations for real users and real world applications. For more information about our products or to schedule your own live demonstration, just give us a call or visit us at www.mexop.com. Without further delay, we invite you to sit back and enjoy the demonstration. And I'll um, go ahead and run a simulation with the machine tool. So I toggle the machine tool visibility on, select an operation in here. We have the stock model displayed. So I hit the play button and there's your machine tool simulation. Awesome. Okay, this is what it would actually look like when you're cutting in real life. Pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> see how that's turning? Nice. So yeah. You can see the A axis turning and there's your linear motion in the X and then the Z. Right. That's awesome. So, um, so we can add your machine tool model into it or we can take one of these existing models in here and we could, um, you know, update it for you guys. So we could call okay. it Miltronic Turian 6. So we may need some, uh, you know, like SDL files that represent the machine tool so that gives you information for it. So here as you can see. Well, call. right now using the, um, Mach 3. Yeah, we have, Warren has machines, but at my shop I've got Mach 3 running on a, um, a conversion of a Grizzly. Okay. Seven. Yeah, so we can use like a generic 4-axis machine tool model and mm -hmm. uh, represent that for simulation. So, like you noticed here, I had to put the uh, zero to the center and then I actually uh -huh. put the, um, um, uh, uh, what is called the center of rotation to zero zero. So we might be able to change it to the top, but you know, this is just to show you how to run the machine tool simulation. Yeah. Right. I don't have fourth axis on the um, Meltronics. So okay. we're, we're doing everything in Mach 3 just to figure out the software part right now. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> That's exactly what it looked like. See, there's no Y movement. Yeah. It's all X and A. This is A axis. A and Z. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's awesome. Well, and Z axis, yeah. For the yeah, pattern. X and Z, yep, stepping down in levels. And then it's yes. just X and A. Do you have any questions so far, Warren? No. No. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is what we need to see right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the um, the second file that you had, right? Mm -hmm. And see how we could program it. Now, if we use the other one, um, we had the tube in there, right? So if I go back and uh, grab this tube in here, and if I replace it with a um, you know a cylinder stock as opposed to this one like a tube stock, using a tube stock, then your simulation would be slightly, uh, you know, it would show what the tube would look like. Okay, yeah. So that would be uh, available to you in the uh, Pro, where I can select this and define a stock from selection. Mm -hmm. So now when you go into your simulation and you hit the play button, you'll notice that it, it represents a tube and you can see the the cutting in action as you get down mm -hmm. to the depth, it shows it's being hollowed out right there. Okay, I see the difference there. Yep. So the Pro mm -hmm. offers, uh, you know, more options for defining your stock material. Okay. 